What's the difference between llamas and alpacas? Llamas and alpacas have been used by humans for transportation and fleece production for a few thousand years. Both species are primarily found in Peru and Bolivia and are part of the camel family, Camelidae. Alpacas and llamas are two of the four lamoid species the other two species, Vicuna and Guanaco, are their wild cousins. Interestingly, all four species are able to interbreed and create fertile offspring. While often conflated, alpacas and llamas differ in key ways. The most distinguishing physical differences between alpacas and llamas are their size, their hair, and their face shapes. Also, they differ in disposition, which affects the way humans have used them over the years. The most noticeable difference between the two animals is their sizes. Alpacas are smaller, around 90 centimeters, 35 inches, high at the shoulder and between 55 and 65 kilograms, 121 to 143 pounds. Llamas are the biggest lamoid at about 120 centimeters, 47 inches, at the shoulder and about 113 kilograms, 250 pounds. So llamas are going to be a lot bigger than their cousins. Their faces are also dissimilar. Alpacas have small, blunt faces with short ears, while llamas have more elongated faces with banana-sized ears. Another key difference is their hair. Alpacas have shaggy hair that is used for fleece production. Their hair color can vary greatly, from whites and light yellows to browns and blacks. Llamas' hair is coarser, and their wool is considered inferior, but llama breeders are working to create a llama breed with finer, softer hair. Humans usually use llamas as pack animals, since they can carry a generous amount of weight. The average llama can carry a load of 45 to 60 kilograms, 99 to 132 pounds, for up to 30 kilometers, 18.6 miles, each day. Yet llamas get a bad reputation since, when overloaded or maltreated, they react by spitting, kicking, lying down, or refusing to move. Usually, however, they are gentle creatures. Alpacas, on the other hand, are a bit more timid and like to stay with their herd. Llamas can be used as guard animals for livestock like alpacas and sheep. A llama trek is an unforgettable experience whether you do one in Peru or in Massachusetts. Your time with the llamas may lead you curious to learn more about these bright-eyed, sure-footed hiking companions. Here are a few interesting and weird facts about llamas that may inspire you to set out in the woods with these curious beasts. Llamas are members of the camelid family meaning they're pretty closely related to vicunas and camels. Camelids first appeared on the central plains of North America about 40 million years ago. About 3 million years ago, llamas' ancestors migrated to South America. During the last ice age, 10,000 to 12,000 years ago, camelids went extinct in North America. Now there are around 160,000 llamas and 100,000 alpacas in the United States and Canada. Llamas were first domesticated and used as pack animals 4,000 to 5,000 years ago in the Peruvian highlands. Llamas can grow as much as 6 feet tall though the average llama, between 5 feet 6 inches and 5 feet 9 inches tall. Llamas weigh between 280 and 450 pounds, and can carry 25 to 30 percent of their body weight, so a 400-pound male llama can carry about 100 to 120 pounds on a trek of 10 to 12 miles with no problem. Six differences between llamas and alpacas. Their ears. Alpaca ears have short spear-shaped ears while llamas have much longer, banana-shaped ears. Their size. Alpacas generally weigh in at around 150 pounds, while llamas can get as heavy as 400 pounds. At the shoulder, an average alpaca stands between 34 and 36 inches, while a llama generally ranges between 42 and 46 inches. Their faces, llamas have a longer face, and alpaca's face is a bit more blunt, giving them a smushed in look. Their purpose, for more than 5,000 years alpacas have been bred for fiber, and in Peru for meat as well, while llamas have been bred for the same amount of time as pack animals and meat. Their hair, the alpaca produces a much finer fiber than the llama. The alpaca also produces more fleece than its larger cousin, and in a much greater variety of colors. Llamas also generally do not have as much hair on their head and face as alpacas do. Their dispositions, alpacas are very much herd animals, while llamas are more independent-minded. 
Alpacas also tend to be a bit more skittish than llamas, which are often used as guard animals for alpacas, sheep, and other small livestock, 